how do you make lots of money and do it authentically? This was asked by one of my clients. I thought it was a great question. And I want to just inspire you with three things to think about in this short video. The first thing is a dynamic I call profit versus value. So many of the people in my field who are selling you programs on how to make more money and do better marketing, so much of the time they focus, in my opinion, way too much on profit. Profit this, profit that. You keep hearing it. Notice I, I rarely talk about profit. Instead, what I prefer talking about is value. Sure, we occasionally look at our bookkeeping and our products and services, our activities, and say, hmm, which of the things we're doing tends to get more profit? But really, what's happening is what of the things you are doing bring the most value to people? Make people feel grateful for what you did, the energy that you put out there. They feel so grateful, in fact, that they either talk about you, they engage with your content, or they buy your products and services. So you know you're getting value when you get that kind of reciprocity back. And that's what I feel if we focus more on that. What what are you doing? Which pieces of content, which offers are you making is clearly offering value to people because they are reciprocating, they're engaging. And which means you need to test, probably most of you watching this, probably need to test more things so that you can see, oh, this is what's giving value to people. So profit versus value, the first dynamic that I want to in encourage you to, to start thinking about, start noticing when you start leaning too much into profit making and, and come back to value making. Okay. So that's number one. Number two is push versus pull. Okay. So push is how most marketing is taught. You have to just, I mean, you know, I, I hear people say, oh, you just got to post a lot. You just got to like keep on emailing your list about your offer. Keep talking about your offer. Just keep talking, keep talking, keep talking about your service or your product. Eventually, essentially, you'll wear them down so that they'll finally, you know, <laughs> drop, drop dead and buy your thing. Right. I don't know what, what they're thinking. Push is the typical way that marketing is taught. It's pushy, literally. It's also about trying to look impressive, to push your image or brand or some kind of um, not totally authentic image of who you are onto the public. So pushing makes us, guess what? Exhausted, eventually, burned out. And this is why, well, I've got a lot of peers who started with me 14 years ago and they're no longer around. I'm, I mean, I'm sure they're doing something else with their life, I hope but they're no longer in their business because they, I saw them push so much and they couldn't sustain it. And, and I discovered some years ago, the power of pull. Pull is basically to say, well, to focus on value. How am I giving value? And how can I keep practicing showing up authentically? And the more that I can explore my authentic expression, the more powerful I become truly authentically powerful and you as well. The more you practice showing up authentically, practicing your voice, the more authentically powerful you become. And that authentic power creates an energy signature that pulls forward your ideal audience, your ideal clients without you having to push so much. You're always just practicing generating this authenticity and this, uh, I call it creativity fitness. Sometimes you're practicing generating your own inner power, which then pulls people towards you. So push versus pull. Okay. And then the third one finally is future versus now. We too often focus on in the future. When I have enough audience members, when I have enough money, then I will be what happy. What are you going to be secure finally? Are, are you going to be able to do things that you can't do now? That's probably true. But the focus on the future blinds you to the opportunity that you have right now. Because right now, if you, if you look at your 
you know, your Facebook friends, your Instagram, people who follow you on Instagram, your LinkedIn contacts, the people you email. Right now, you already have people that you can talk to who have, who probably have some wants that you can help fulfill. It's true. Even if you only have three Facebook friends, talk to those three Facebook friends and not talk to them enough to discover what is it they want that you could possibly provide something for, whether you can create a service for them or whether you know someone who can help them. That's okay too. You refer that out, but chances are they have some want that you can provide a service for, or they know someone who wants something that you can provide. So the focus on the now is the focus on the abundance that is around you, the abundance in just the connections you already have, the three friends you have, three colleagues you've taken, maybe you've taken courses, you've joined events. You probably know some people, right? Don't you know some people from courses you've taken or events you've been part of, acquaintances, colleagues? Yeah, you know some people. So reach out to them now and talk with them enough to find out their wants that you can provide something for. Because right now, the opportunities are already around you. The question is whether you're having enough conversations with them to fulfill those opportunities, to be be able to resolve their challenges or help them meet, uh, fulfill their yearnings. So I hope this is helpful. This is really the path to authentic money-making, right? Value instead of profit. You know, focus more on value. Pull instead of push. And the now opportunities around you instead of, oh, the future, this will end, that will happen. Well, I hope this is helpful. Thank you always for joining me for these things. And I look forward to to seeing how this helps you. Be well. I wish you joyful productivity. Take care.